if it's your first time here, my name is Laura, this is Courtney, and we just landed in Hawaii, my 50th state in one year. Today, we're taking on the Big Island, starting with a drive through Kona Coffee Country, south to the famous Black Sand Beach, before exploring Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. We get to walk through a lava tube, drive through old lava fields, and ending the night with the glow of Kilauea. The first full day here in Hawaii is dedicated to Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. We are spending the entire day exploring this part of the Big Island and we've started out with a bang because we stopped here at the southernmost point in the U.S. It was a bit of a drive to get down here, but we are excited to check it out. We did already go to the southernmost bakery and we ordered six malasadas to try, but we might have to wait because it's pretty windy. Courtney did get her coffee, which was much needed. We have been awake for a lot of hours because we're a little jet lagged. It's almost 10 o'clock here, so it's time to check out this and then get to the Black Sand Beach, which was Courtney's most requested stop of this entire trip. Okay, let's go check this one off. Courtney that we'd be the southernmost people in the entire U.S. and we almost made it. It's the two of us and him out there fishing. So close but we're heading back there's more to see. We almost passed this stand and we ended up doing a UE to come back and see what they have. We haven't stopped at any fruit stands macadamia nuts, anything like that, and we just need to. So this is our first stop. We'll see what they have, and we'll see if we stop it any more later. What'd you get? A very big bag of smoky garlic macadamia nuts. It was so good, I love garlic. The garlic parmesan was also good, but we stuck with garlic for our macadamia nuts. And then we got a few macadamia nuts for gifts and we got some milk chocolate with coffee beans. So often you have chocolate covered coffee beans and these have it crunched up, it's so good. We of course also got some samples of coffee. Let us. Oh yeah, we got cookies too. They also let us sample every one of the macadamia nuts, every one of the chocolates, and some of the cookies, which is why we ended up with cookies. Impulse stop number one, huge hit. We're focused, we're focused. We're going to the Black Sand Beach. I did get two coffee samples, but I figured we earned it. We've made it to the Black Sand Beach. It is a little overcast today, but that's okay. I still use sunscreen. Can you see my face? She could not wait to get here. Down 
to the beach when we got them a few hours ago. This was the goal. I don't think either of us knew that it would be this pretty. Also, Courtney's been making fun of me for my sunscreen, so if you see anything white on my skin, it's just that. It's mineral sunscreen so that it's safe. It just doesn't absorb as well. Whatever, we're gonna eat these. Doing. I'm doing chocolate. Okay. This bakery is famous for their molasadas. Of course, we had to try five different ones. We have classic sugar, which I think we'll save for last. Chocolate filled, strawberry filled, guava, and glazed. We're starting with chocolate. Is it horrible? Should you just eat all of them yourself? Oh, that chocolate is good. It's melty. Careful. <laughs> Oh, it's so good. This isn't just plain glaze. It's like a vanilla glaze. There's some type of fruit. The malasadas themselves are just like perfectly cooked donuts. We're used to having holes in the middle, but because this does not, it's fluffier. You can even taste the yeast, but look, look at that. I'm so happy that this is a flavor instead of just vanilla glaze. I mean, you don't have to try it. I'm gonna try it. I'm totally gonna try that one after I eat this. It's so good. Just like a little strawberry jelly. I'd say we picked pretty good. chance to talk to the ranger. Everything we had planned is on their list too. We have a few things to check out right here by the visitor center. Then we're gonna head into town for lunch. There's the lava tubes that we wanna hike this afternoon. And then we know exactly where to go after dark so that we can see the lava glow. Even if it rains, we should have really good weather. Now we need to get our stamp. I didn't want to risk bringing my book to Hawaii, so what I decided to do is just use the paper that they have, get the stamps, and then glue them into my book. That way I won't damage it along the way. Most parks do have paper so that you can do this, that way you don't risk losing your book, but if not, they also have some stickers that you can buy, that way you can just put those in really easily. I did ask the ranger, this is a nene, it is the state bird of Hawaii. The ranger recommended that we actually come to the end of the road and then hit the lookouts on the way back. So that's exactly what we did. This is our first look at the Kilauea crater. The ranger also mentioned that at all of these overlooks, the edge of the crater will actually block our view from the lava, but from the old crater road that we're gonna take later tonight, you can see down in. You can't see it as much during the day, but that's why you can see it at night. And that's why we're headed there after dark. Second stop is at the steam vent, and it looks like it's right here.
my guess is that in 2018 when this erupted, everything out here was fresh lava and then where the tree line is obviously wasn't covered in lava. You know, was that four years ago? Four years ago. on Yelp so obviously we had to. We grabbed some spring rolls and some pad thai. We brought our lunch back into the National Park. We were kind of hoping that there would be picnic tables next to the lava tube hike that we want to do but we ended up just grabbing a parking spot and we're gonna go do that hike after we eat lunch. So we're gonna see what we got. First up summer rolls which smell very healthy there are sprouts avocado cabbage and carrots lettuce all in a rice paper wrap which is right up our alley actually mm -hmm. we did end up with one peanut sauce and one sweet and sour so we'll mix those All of those fresh vegetables plus some mint mm. might be the healthiest thing we'll have all week. Very good. You're going to want that. Then for lunch, we have that veggie pad thai with tofu. It looks so good. I see egg, lots of chopped up peanuts, lime. And the carrots are fun. Can you see it? perfect lunch. We'll see you when we actually make it to hiking. Okay, so lava tubes. The lava flowed through here. It cooled on top and cooled on bottom and now it's a tube that we actually get to walk through. Round trip for this hike is just a half mile. It's also well lit so we don't need headlamps or anything. The trail is definitely steep, but it is paved. We are taking the Chain of Craters Road down to the coast. It's amazing how much it has cooled off. It's already down to 64 degrees. The ranger mentioned that on this drive we would see fresh lava fields and here we are. They even have signs up to tell you when the lava was flowing out of the volcano. Shade 
it looks like it's still in motion even now it looks like all of these rocks are just pouring down the hill so cool are you hound dog tired singing all night long who's gonna save you who's gonna make you the end of the road this is where the sea arches and we have 40 foot cliffs even on the way down we saw the waves hitting the cliffs and it is absolutely crazy it is also windy so i don't know if i'll be able to say anything outside we almost didn't take this drive and even the drive itself is awesome when there's active lava flowing into the ocean this is where they take all of those pictures you can also see the old lava flows and we saw them on our way down you can see right where the lava flowed down this mountain and then into the ocean we almost didn't take this drive so happy we did called this crust cheese sticks which I don't think is a good name because nobody really likes the crust. Why is hot? Yes. It's just the quietest you are. <laughs> we ate lunch pretty late but we decided that we did need some dinner before hiking to the volcano. We made the plan to eat it after we went to the volcano on our drive back it's going to be about nine o'clock nothing will be open so we didn't want to get stuck with nothing to eat so we got the cheese sticks which you already saw barbecue chicken pizza with mushroom courtney has a cherry coke which is boring and i got a mango pepsi i've never seen mango pepsi before it's really good it tastes like you would expect mango pepsi Okay, we are ready to go walk down and see the glow of the lava. It's extremely dark. It's really crazy to have everybody parked and just have no lights in the parking lot. So I don't think you'll see much. So I don't think you'll see much until we get down there for the glow. I'm so excited that there's actually a lava lake that's going to create this effect and we get to see it while we're here at the park. Crazy. I do have the headlamps. Headlamps are ready to go. We need to put our shoes on. We're headed out.
The one thing I wanted to do at Volcanoes National Park was see the lava glow at night. We stood there with about 30 other people watching for flare-ups in the distance. The hike back to the parking lot was extremely dark and very quiet, which felt like just as much of an adventure. And then we had a dark, rainy drive back to Kona to prepare for another day of exploring the Big Island. Let us know what your favorite part is and make sure you're subscribed so that you can see what we get up to tomorrow. Who's gonna save you? Who's gonna make you?